those of you that know me and have followed me for quite a while and have even known me for years outside of the internet, even my students and my martial arts uh, compadres, if you will, you know that I have always uh, talked, spoken highly of the late great martial arts master Bruce Lee. Never found a reason to say anything otherwise. As a matter of fact, I've spoken highly of many, many other great martial artists outside of Bruce Lee. But it just so happens that uh, Bruce Lee has always been the key focus uh, for some people as it relates to his legitimacy as a martial arts practitioner during the time he lived and graced our presence on screen and so forth. But uh, some people believe that there was a conspiracy during the time that Bruce Lee was living to kill him, to take his life. Uh, and there was talk. There have been many uh, theories, as it were, as to how he actually died. And there's one that I've held fast and I'm going to lean on that forever. And that's the fact that Bruce Lee basically worked himself to death. I'll begin by saying this. I don't care how well intentioned you are, we are. I don't care how popular people are. It doesn't matter how large of a following you have, how talented you are. We are all still subject to death in some form or fashion. And that's one of those inevitable things that we will all have to deal with at some point in our lives. There's no escaping it. Elvis died. I enjoyed Elvis Presley, as did many, many millions of people. Sam Cooke died. Loved him as a singer. Michael Jackson, Kobe Bryant, and Bruce Lee, many, many, many others. We're going to leave here one day, whether we want to or not, whether we like it or not, it's just a fact of life. So getting back to Bruce Lee and how he died, there was some talk after his death that some Chinese triads took him out or killed him. There was some talk that there was a hit on him because he was teaching non-Chinese martial arts. Americans, blacks and whites. And there was talk that the elders in China, certain ones, certain groups, didn't like the fact that he was teaching non-Chinese the ancient secrets of martial arts. And so someone marked him. I don't believe that. There's some talk that there was a master that met up with Bruce Lee at some point and he employed a death touch and Bruce Lee died as a result of that death touch. Demock, something along that order. I don't believe that at all. Excuse me, I don't believe that at all. Now, amidst all of the theories as to how he died I believe what his mother Grace during that time stated that his death 
was the result of, and that is what they termed then as death by misadventure. Bruce Lee just had a strange occurrence, strange death. A blood vessel ruptured his brain from edema, swelling, and this was the result of him having a bad headache and falling into unconsciousness in an actress's uh, room, Betty Ting P. He fell asleep in her room uh, and he never recovered from the coma. And so he died of a blood vessel in his brain rupturing or an aneurysm if you will. You know my first wife she died of the same thing or similar an aneurysm in the brain. So I believe that that was the result as they said in the autopsy of an allergic reaction to some medication that the actress gave him that did not agree with him and it exacerbated whatever the problem he was already having. So cutting straight to the chase how I believe that Bruce Lee died. I believe we have a Chinese actor and martial artist who was very dedicated, devoted to the perfection, not of the human body, but of his body. So much so, he expressed it many, many times in interviews and even on film. If you looked at his beginning, the pictures of Bruce Lee, you saw his evolution, his development, speed, strength, power, muscle tone, muscle accentuation. You looked at his body. The doctor said that he had the body of a 16 year old or thereabout. And Charles Atlas, the bodybuilder that was living during that time, said that you could put Bruce Lee in an anatomy class and point out virtually all of the muscle groups, even though he was Chinese and small in frame, but he worked on some of the smaller muscle groups. And we can see this in his films, especially his baby, Into the Dragon. When you look at his deltoids, his pecs, his abdominals, his back, his legs, pure mastery. This man lived, breathed, and slept martial arts. He trained virtually every day of his life. He had special equipment made for him by friends and students to develop all of those aspects of the martial arts to make him a better martial artist. Coupled with the fact that he had a family, Linda, then subsequently two children, Brandon and Shannon, and he was a director, he was an actor since a child. As a matter of fact, he had already done 20 films in China at least before he came to America. So he was a very, very devoted man. In addition to that, he had a library that he had amassed of over 2,000 books on virtually every martial arts system of fighting that existed that he could get his hands on. He was an avid student of philosophy, physiology, anatomy, health, and well-being. And all of the things that Bruce Lee did 
is what crowned him the king of Kung Fu, the greatest martial artist of our time. So what I'm getting at in my conclusion is this, how he died. He worked himself to death. He trained so hard to perfect himself. And he said even in an interview, honestly to me, martial arts is expressing one's self. And he did just that. Despite what anyone says to the contrary, that he wasn't a martial artist and that he wasn't a great martial artist or the greatest or one of the greatest. And he was just an actor which we all know that's not true because during the time that he lived all of the people that talked about him in a negative light who were living during his time they never said anything to him about him not being a good or great martial artist they never challenged him then it is only these decades later after the man is gone so that's really it Bruce Lee worked himself feverishly to be his best. He trained relentlessly to be the best version of him that he could possibly be. And it cost him his life. But as I preface this video, as I prefaced this video I did make the statement that regardless of who we are and who we think we are and what we have accomplished in our popularity death doesn't play favoritism it takes the poor the mediocre and even the greatest amongst us away that's just the way it is so this is not my theory this is what I believe based on studying his life Bruce Lee killed himself by overworking himself. What do you think?